So of course, everyone has an opinion of what's really going on in the real estate market, ranging from boom to bust, so it's definitely confusing to figure out what to expect. The good news is that experts are starting to make their 2023 home price forecasts. I'm Kara Courtney and I'm a local realtor here in San Diego County and I'm happy to create another video to help raise your real estate IQ. So let's jump in. So many experts have recently been in agreement with their forecasts, suggesting that the average sales price of homes is gonna to continue to rise, just at a slower pace. And I like to refer to this as deceleration. Over the past couple of years, home prices have definitely been increasing at an unsustainable rate, leaving many to wonder, and rightfully so, how long it could last. While home prices have typically appreciated at a rate of around 4% per year, the average of six major forecasters estimate appreciation at just below 2.5% for 2023. And as you can see in the graph, only Zellman and Associates is calling for depreciation, and the other five are forecasting appreciation. To understand why experts are calling for appreciation next year, I think it's best to look at the economics of supply and demand. So really there's two things that I believe that could continue to have home prices going upward. First is gonna be the lack of supply of homes on the market. And it's been an issue that we continue to face in our country. We don't have enough homes to satisfy the number of buyers for what's considered a balanced market. Because of this, we're in a seller's market nationally, and in this scenario, home prices tend to appreciate. Second, millennials are getting to the age that's considered their peak home buying years, and since they're the largest demographic behind baby boomers, I don't see this demand going away anytime soon. Okay, so let's take a moment to talk about what happens if the value of homes do decrease. There's really two things that I can think of that could happen. First, the value of your home might go down, and guess what? You continue living in your home. And if you chose a fixed rate mortgage, you'll also continue to enjoy your predictable payments. Based on what we've seen in the past, the real estate market is cyclical, so it's reasonable to believe that if you stay in your home long enough, the value of your home will improve over time. And second, you might find yourself needing to sell and be in a position to take a loss. And in this case, it would be your decision to do this. I've talked to renters who have said that they don't wanna buy because they just don't wanna take a chance of losing money in real estate. They were afraid that you know they'd buy a house and then in the future it would be worth less. And it's a valid concern and I think everyone needs to look at their own personal situation to figure out what's right for them. Although in my opinion, the only way to actually guarantee that you're gonna lose money in real estate is by renting. Okay, so let's consider the numbers a little more. Let's say that you pay $3,000 a month for rent, which in my opinion is pretty reasonable in our market. That's $36,000 a year. And let's say that you end up renting for four years while you're waiting to buy. That's $144,000 paid in rent that you're never gonna get back. Now I could never accurately guess what the future of the real estate market is gonna look like, but let's look at a hypothetical situation when you buy and then home values decrease. And I think this is a really great exercise for anyone on the fence due to fear of you know, the unknown in the future. So let's say you bought a house for $600,000 four years before instead of renting, and you decide to put 20% down and you'll have a loan for 480,000. And hypothetically, your home loses 10% of its value by the time you decide to sell. So it's now worth 540,000. Well, what would actually happen? That's a good question, right? During those four years of making your monthly mortgage payments, you would have paid down your mortgage. Let's just say you paid it down by $30,000. So now you owe 450,000. I know this is a lot of numbers, so stick with me here. Even though the market has decreased by 60,000, you owe 450 and you have a house that's worth 540. That's a difference of $90,000 between what you owe and what your home is worth. And yes, it costs to sell a home, so let's just guess you have $40,000 in selling fees for commissions, title escrow, et cetera. Guess what? You'll still walk away with about $50,000 once you sell. So let's ask ourselves, would somebody really want to put 120 grand in for a down payment, 22,000 for closing costs, and then, you know, ultimately have a home that's worth 540 and walk away with 50,000? Well, no, right? Like nobody actually plans for this scenario, but instead of just looking at the scenario at the surface and saying, man, it's possible for me to lose money on a house, so I'm just gonna keep renting, I don't like this. Let's look at the alternative of what renting for fear of losing money when buying could actually mean. If you had rented that house for four years at $3,000 a month, then you would be guaranteed you'd never see that $144,000 again, right? At the end of your lease, there's no walking away with $50,000 like in my hypothetical buying scenario. And with renting, you'd miss out on tons of the typical benefits that you have when buying, like the potential tax write-offs, the right to design your house how you want, and having the peace of mind that the landlord isn't gonna give you notice to uproot your life. So what does this all mean? The bottom line is that while nobody has a crystal ball to know exactly what the future of the real estate market will bring with certainty, various experts are expecting home values to continue to appreciate next year, just at a slower pace than in recent years. Although if values do decrease, 
Because you made it to this part in the video, you now have some ideas and some more to think about to compare your options of buying versus renting. So if you find yourself thinking about buying or selling, just reach out and I'd be happy to help. My contact info can be found in the description below. I'm so glad that you watched all the way to this point in the video because I'm happy to help raise your real estate IQ. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I wanna take a moment to invite you to check out the description below for helpful resources and to download a guide that can include things like tips and checklists to make planning for your move even easier. It's honestly never too early to get started. If you like this video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell to get notified when I share new real estate videos here each Thursday. You'll also wanna check out the thumbnails that are about to pop up on your screen here in a moment for other videos that I've custom made for you on this channel. And as always, this info is for people everywhere, but if you're looking to make a move to the San Diego County area, I'd be happy to be a resource. You'll find my contact info in the description below. Okay, so have a great day, and I hope you love where you live. See you in the next video.